Hello everyone. I wanted to go over the care of miniature Phalaenopsis orchids with you today and how that care varies a little bit uh, from the regular size Phalaenopsis orchids. I received a lot of good questions from you all last week um, after my light video and how that pertains to miniature Phalaenopsis orchids. And I thought I would go over some of those questions with you all today and uh, just kind of give you some tips on uh, how I grow my miniature fowls successfully. I tried to grow these for years and they just did not do well. They wouldn't rebloom. And I kept wondering what I was doing wrong. And finally, when I adjusted a few things, they started doing so much better. And they are among the best blooming orchids that I have. So I thought I'd start out here. Um, I finally got the actual ID of this little orchid. Um, it, this is Fowl Little Gem Stripes. Patrick, thank you so much for the ID on this orchid. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I've had this one for um, about two years. This is my second rebloom on this one. And so it is really doing very well. Um, I started it out in water culture. It didn't like that, and I pretty much saw that from the very beginning. It just quit growing. It just wouldn't do anything. So I placed it in New Zealand sphagnum moss, which I love growing my miniature Phalaenopsis orchids in New Zealand sphagnum moss. I grow most of mine in New Zealand sphagnum moss, but I learned very quickly that I needed to repot this one pretty often. When you buy New Zealand sphagnum moss, it is a very durable, long-lasting moss. And so you can do partial repots. I do partial repots with my New Zealand sphagnum moss. Would not dare do it with regular brown basket moss that's only to be used for a season. Um, but the New Zealand sphagnum moss, it lasts a good long time. So let me show you what I did with this orchid. Okay, this time last year, it was in a container this big. Now look at how much it's grown. I had to put it in a larger cup. It's this, this size cup here. This is an eight ounce Chinette cup. And then by the end of the growing season, the uh, roots were growing out the bottom of it. So I place it in this 12 ounce solo cup and I'm gonna have to um, do another partial repotting on this one in a month or two. So you can just see how much this has grown. And the roots are already to the bottom of this cup. So they grow very, very quickly. Okay, so I have this one growing in very small Orgiata bark. And it has done very well too. Um, okay, you can see the plant is very, very healthy and it's got these lady godiva hair roots they go everywhere so um the thing is is this is bark i can't do a partial repotting in bark it just doesn't work so probably this spring i'm going to have to repot it but i'm going to have to do a total repot because here again the roots have gone all the way down to the bottom of this pot in a very short period of time if it was in moss i could just add a little bit of moss to the bottom of a larger pot and I would be good to go. Um, I'd hate to disturb the roots on an orchid any more than I absolutely have to. When you need to, you need to. When it needs to be repotted, it needs to be repotted. Um, but this is one reason why I really prefer the New Zealand sphagnum moss to the bark in this instance. These little miniatures just grow so quickly. They need to be placed in larger pots pretty often. So when I go to repot foul little gem stripes, all I need to do is just rehydrate some more New Zealand sphagnum moss. Um, I do check the moss very thoroughly to make sure that it is beautiful and healthy and it doesn't have any bad places in it. But to be honest with you, it never has. Um, it has been beautiful and lush and green every time. So. I have a video about the partial repotting that I did on this one back in the spring of 2018, and I will place that video um, in the description box below for you all. And another difference um, with 
the miniature Phalaenopsis versus the regular size Phalaenopsis. If you will see, these roots are still green. Um, this is going up on about five days since I've watered this one. Um, I will probably water this one again tomorrow. Um, I normally don't wait until the roots turn silver on my miniature Phalaenopsis orchids to water them. They do like a lot of water. So I make sure that they get an, a lot of water. Plus, since they get watered more, they also get fertilized more uh, because they get watered more frequently than my regular size Phalaenopsis orchids do. And I went over the topic of light quite a bit last week, uh, so I won't hit on that topic quite so much. I'll go ahead and put a uh, link to that video as well below. Uh, but just don't forget, these do well in eastern or western facing windows. Um, my regular size Phalaenopsis orchids, western facing windows, it's just a little bit too much light, especially in the spring and summer for them in western facing windows. But these require a lot of light. If you've only got one window and you've got, let's say, an eastern facing window, and you've got a miniature Phalaenopsis orchid and a regular size Phalaenopsis orchid, then put this one in front of your regular size Phalaenopsis orchid. Put it closer to the window. They really do like that extra light. I also wanted to show you the growth habit of a miniature Phalaenopsis orchids. And this holds true for all Phalaenopsis orchids, miniature and the regular size. But what people don't expect, and what I didn't expect, is do you see how the first leaves that it produces, they're small and they're cute and they're compact. <laughs> okay, I've had this one for two years. Check out the size of this leaf. This is almost more the size of a mid-sized fowl. Um, this is just what they do. They do grow larger and larger. Now, I wouldn't say that their leaves grow as long as a regular size Phalaenopsis orchid, but when you're seeing this kind of growth habit, that you're getting the larger leaves, that's exactly what you want to see. So in closing, just a piece of information that I found that really helped me to learn how to grow these was the miniature Phalaenopsis orchids are found higher up in the tree canopy than the regular size Phalaenopsis. So they're receiving more sunlight, they're receiving more rain, more moisture, more fertilizer than the larger fowl. So when you kind of know that beforehand, it's really going to help you successfully grow these. So you all have a great day. Be highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed. And we'll talk to you all next time.